Okay, so I've had a bunch of uh, friends on the Hudson Valley Farmers and Gardeners Net and other people as well ask me about garlic. They're always asking about planting garlic and seed garlic and all that sort of stuff. So uh, I'm just going to go through and clarify a few things. Seed garlic is normally uh, garlic cloves actually taken from the bulb of the plant. Uh, this is a garlic bulb. This is actually an entire garlic plant, obviously minus the leaves, that I saved from last year. This is one that I did not cut the uh, scape off of. The scape is the part that gets that curly uh, kind of uh, dove neck look to it uh, in, the, uh, in late June, usually around here at 42 North Latitude in New York. Um, so this one didn't get cut. Usually you cut it and that uh, stimulates more energy to go into the roots to build bigger bulbs, which is really the crop that you're after, the bulbs and the cloves that are part of each bulb. We'll pop that open in a second and take a look at the cloves. Um, but I just wanted to point out that when these go to flower all the way, let me turn my headlight on here, they, uh, they develop these little mini garlic looking things. And these are called umbrals. And these umbrals actually are the sexually reproduced seed of the plant. Normally, we propagate through the use of the clove because it is a genetic duplicate of the mother plant. In other words, it's basically a clone of the mother plant. Each of those cloves is basically the same as the bulb that it was taken from. So uh, normally we would select for the largest bulbs and the largest cloves of those bulbs and plant those as our seed garlic. So seed garlic is typically several sizes larger than, uh, than garlic you would find in the store or on the shelf for sale for eating. Um, so the seed garlic is basically chosen to have the bigger, the bigger cloves because that'll carry through in, in forward generations and you'll always have greater harvests and yields that way. Um, but they can be propagated through sexual reproduction through these umbrals. And I've actually saved these umbrals on this plant over the winter uh, because I wanted to do this video and show people what uh, what they look like, how they grow, and uh, I actually wanted to do an experiment with trying growing some through sexual propagation. Um, I Ultimately I want to play around with some breeding with different types of garlic, but I'll get into that later on. Right now uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a pause here for a second and I'm going to pop open uh, this bulb down here and show you some of the cloves. And then we'll go ahead and we'll talk about the life cycle of garlic. So hang on just a sec. So now you can see I've peeled a clove off of the bulb of garlic. Uh, for reference, this is a German white garlic that I grew in a high trace mineral nutrition, trace mineral nutrition program last year. And uh, you can check out some of the other links. Actually, I'll put the two other links to garlic critical, critical points of influence in the description below here. Uh, because there is a massive difference between plants that were grown in high nutrition and plants that were not grown under the care of someone who understands high nutrition, trace minerals, enzymes, biology, and foliar feeds, and all that sort of stuff. There's a massive difference, and you should check that out in the other video. All right, that said, so these normally, these cloves, was what you would take, and you would plant these in the fall, and... They would stratify because of the cold weather. Stratification is where a seed goes through a dormant period where it's kept cold enough to stimulate it to start its reproductive cycle the following spring. So you put them in. They develop, uh, they actually put down some roots. These usually would go in at our latitude around October 20th. Uh, you can plant a little earlier if you like. Um, you can actually plant much later. I've planted as late as November 28th and had uh, excellent success. Um, so uh, they sometimes they'll sprout a little green shoot even before winter starts and then uh, springtime this time of year uh, they'll come up and sprout like this. I'll put a clip in right here or I'll throw it up here in the uh, video overlay. Um, and they'll come up like that and then they'll grow up. Now they grow up through a large stalk. It's about three feet high, sometimes four. Uh, you'll see large leaves coming out, sticking out, and in fact, maybe I'll grab a clip and put in the video overlay here again for you. And then later on in the season, they develop a flower. If you don't cut the scape off, it turns into a flower. It flowers, it pollinates with the other garlic, and these become sexually reproduced seed. These seed are called umbrals. If you take one of these seed and put them in the ground, the first year, that seed will grow into a single garlic bulb that'll look more like an onion, not like a clove. It'll look like this, 
but it'll be a single bulb, bulb. it won't be multiple cloves, okay? So then it'll winter over that, that same uh, season, it'll winter over that winter, and then the following season, that clove would grow out and form bulbs like this. And then ultimately this plant would continue to propagate both sexually and also through, uh, you know, uh, root propagation or uh, scion. So, uh, so that's basically the life cycle of garlic. So what we typically do is we catch it in its, uh, in its second, well really its third year, and we take the clove and we plant that. And because we've jumped uh, the, the umbral stage to go from an umbral to a bulb, we can produce garlic the following season. So garlic around here is typically planted on October 20th and harvested on July 20th and usually scapes are cut off uh, somewhere between the beginning and the end of June depending on uh, the progression of your garlic and how fast they're growing. Um, garlic should be planted in a high compost, uh, high humic matter soil and mulched very heavily. Uh, it can come up through quite, <coughs> quite a deep mulch layer. Um, I may have missed something in here, um, but I had a bunch of questions along those lines and I thought instead of having to repeat myself uh, many times about how garlic grows in its life cycle, that I would just make a video and share it. So uh, I guess that's all I have for now. Um, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. I hope, you found, I hope you found this video informative or helpful. If you do, please like, uh, and if you like our channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. All right, so one last thing before I uh, close this video out. I've gone ahead and stripped these umbrals off of the plant, and I'm going to take this whole handful of them and just put them in some uh, soil and keep it moist. And uh, they'll sprout off, and then we'll transplant them out into a spot somewhere here on the farm, and we'll track them throughout the season and throughout the following seasons, and then you can get a better idea of the garlic life cycle. Uh, Thanks again for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.